prevailed and went on to the Royal Bank Cup and uh, it was quite a quite a sad trip back uh, from Calgary but once we got back we were able to realize that it was quite the accomplishment of uh, that team bringing Chilliwack its first ever BCHL championship and what a bunch of characters with uh, Zerba and Nelson and Sandback and all those guys. Uh, what a great year of memories. Zerba, he is a type of player that um, will do, well, I can't say do anything to win, but do the necessary things to win. And he's a kid that uh, you'd love to have on your team. You hate playing against him, but you'd love to have on your team. And Peter Zerba is, uh, I like to think of Peter Zerba as typical Harvey Smilak. I, I just think that he, what he brought to the program or to the ice was unbelievable. The following season, led by 17-year-old scoring sensation Sean Horkoff, the Chiefs finished first overall and entered the playoffs as favorites to capture another BCJHL championship. In the second round versus the Langley Thunder, Horkoff was injured and the Chiefs were upset in seven games. I, d I did something that I don't normally do. I, I um, Early in the game I tried to double shift Sean. One, they were playing a set pair of defense against him and had someone checking him. So we thought we'd do that and it happened to, on the second part of the double shift is when he got hit. And I, I kind of, you know, I don't normally do that sort of thing. I, we, we mix and matches and so on and so forth. But that early in the game I felt that maybe uh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, because Sean was such a big piece of it, and, and we certainly missed him in Game 7. I mean, Game 7, I thought we we really outplayed Langley in a big way, and we just couldn't get any past. I, I can think of Longpre having two or three unbelievable chances in the third period late and not capitalizing. I think we lost four or three or three two. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, so that's, I just, you know, that, you kind of do things out of the box sometimes, and then you think whether it's the right thing to do or not. But, I mean, it happened, and... Uh, Kick my butt for <laughs> for a long time. Hearing to take the face off, the game is over, and the Langley Thunder have defeated the Chilliwack Chiefs in seven games, four games to three. The next two seasons, the Chiefs were swept out of the playoffs by their arch rivals, the Surrey Eagles. Simmons now on the end board, Chuck Murphy ready for the goal. There. Gets it ahead to Shane Cox, and he just deflects it out to center ice. Now Nichols in his own zone. He banks off the board, spits it, intercepts it, comes back inside the zone, Fitzgerald moves right in, shoots, and scores! The Chiefs need the next goal. They don't want to get down 3 nothing. Now it's center ice. Fitzgerald on the right side, carries another one, takes a shot, and scores! Another goal between the legs and the goaltender. At the right point, takes a look, has time to set up, lots of room out there. Now for Cuss at the left point, spinning around, takes a look, puts it in the corner. Lattery in there with Nichols on the end boards, not a Gomez. Back to Fitznet, takes a shot, right on the rebound, they score! Lattery! Right from close range by Lattery. Puck here to the line, kept in. Cross-size pass for Fitznet. To Vandermeer, takes a shot, off a stick, never did get to McNelly. Now Fitznet again, moving right in on goal, shoots, scores! Well, Centers it right across here. Chiefs got another scores! crack at them in the 1999 semifinals. The team fell behind three games to one, but battled back to force a game seven in Surrey. For for two years prior to that, when they were beating us, they just forced everywhere, and in, in and it was no different that year. So the the winning goal in the seventh game is something that we talked about for for three years about make sure that we chip and chip and support in the neutral zone because their D men were coming, and sure enough, that's what we did. And Yopic got the breakaway. Off the board for Bunga. Bunga. Jeff Yopic. Yopic coming in all alone. Jeff Yopic makes the move. He In the 1999 league finals, the Chiefs were defeated in five games by the Vernon Vipers. Chilliwack returned the favor the following year by beating Vernon in five games to take the 2000 league championship. The Chiefs advanced to the national championships in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where in the sudden death semifinal, they fell 2-1 to the Rayside Sabre Cats. We peppered him in the last minute and a half, and uh, Travis, 
who played extremely well for us that year. Uh, someone we, I mean, if there's someone that's going to score that goal, it's probably Travis, and, and he hit the goalpost. Goalpost or crossbar, I couldn't remember, so right there, then you knew it was, <laughs> it was time. But uh, that year was exciting. I mean, it was, once again, good character kids, good, solid bunch of kids, fun to work with that group. In the bronze medal game, the Chiefs defeated North Battleford on an overtime goal by Rob Marshall. The 2001-2002 season was one to remember because the Chiefs set team records for most wins in a season and captured their third BCHL championship. With that hockey club, there's just so many key players. There's just so many good players on that team. And probably, you know, the skill part of the, of the game, that, that team may have brought the most. Uh, the other teams that won those league titles, there was, there was some good skill, but there was probably a little bit more character. You know, I'd, I'd have to say the 2002 uh, run to the Royal Bank Cup was uh, a real highlight. That whole year, you never had to worry about the Chiefs losing when you came to watch them. I think they only lost about two games that, that I saw the whole year. It was just an amazing season. And a number of those kids are now you know, playing in the NHL, playing at a very, very high level. What an amazing highlight. Was. That's the highlight for me. The Chiefs also captured their first Doyle Cup championship when they knocked off the Alberta champion Drayton Valley Thunder in a thrilling series. It was game six. Bobby Henderson took a shot from the point. It was a very large rebound. Dave Van Gogh had great patience, went backhand to forehand, and scored top shelf. In the semifinals, the Chiefs were upset 4-3 by the Manitoba champion OCN Blizzard. We're playing in the semifinal uh, game against uh, OCN of uh, Manitoba, a team that we had uh, taken care of during the round robin and uh, that most people thought that we would take care of again. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it was a very well played game with uh, just a couple of uh, mistakes made. Fran almost caught Tyler Spice. McKinnon now will stick handle out of his own zone. Down the left side, McKinnon with speed, trying to get around Koss, all the way in. McKinnon shoots, score! In the 2002-2003 season, the Chiefs went to the league finals against Fern, which they lost in four straight games. There was one more season at the Chilliwack Coliseum before the teams moved to the Prospera Center. The Chiefs continued to attract the most fan support of any junior A hockey team in Canada, with more than 80,000 fans in the seats per season. But this story is not just about wins, losses and stats. It's about an organization. And it's about passion. Well, Chief Waterman's our biggest supporter, no doubt about that. Uh, he gets himself out in the community as, uh, as much as anybody and does such a great job of it. Uh, kids see him and know him right away. He's just uh, such a popular figure in and around Chilliwack as well as in the paper and on the internet and uh, Chief Waterman's uh, one of a kind. He's the best of the best when it comes to mascots. I've been doing this for 11 years now. Start, all started out being a dare by my high school teacher, said whoever got the job got an A in his class. I went out, I got the job. Since then it's becoming more of a hobby, it's more of just a fun thing to do. My kids love it, all the other kids love it, so I stuck around and well, I guess I'm still here right till the end. The highlights that I've had since being Chief Wanawin would be the two national championships, the one in Fort McMurray and then again in, in Halifax. Fort McMurray, I think, was the better one, not making either gold medal game, but the response from the crowd and all the publicity and the people up there just took a better reaction to it. It was a good, it was a good time for me. I think that was probably the, my best year. And Andrew Braithwaite's going to cover things up with 3:52 to go here in the first in a one nothing Chilliwack lead. Play-by-play -play announcer Vonnie DeBarter joined the Chiefs in the summer of 2003. I had the pleasure, I guess, if you will, uh, to call that game, the Langley-Chilliwack game, back at the old Coliseum on Corbold Street. You don't see it too often uh, if you're a goaltender with a one-goal lead to try and hit the empty net. Uh, it's the first Junior A goalie to ever hit a net in Curtis Darling, uh, and it was just a blast. The electric crowd at the Coliseum rose to their feet, uh, and I remember seeing Sean Strike, uh, the veteran defenseman for, for the Langley Hornets, uh, just jumping off the bench, and he knew uh, that Langley at the time was in a race for the top spot with the Chiefs that year. They needed the points uh, badly. Boy, that puck was sick.